the next level of understanding self is understanding what you know and what you do not know professional development is at the core of us understanding who we are as diverse and inclusive leaders it's at the core so we have to remain curious we want to learn about the difference among us i remember I, there's so many of us you hear lgbtq and some of us don't even care to understand what do we mean by l g b t q what is it we mean by that you heard someone as a certain intellectual um, 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 disability or someone who has a de de developmental delay. What do we mean by that? Someone is keeping a workshop on First Nation studies. What, what is it about that? Indigenous um, students. What do we mean by that? Remain curious. Seek out learning opportunities. Always retooling. That's why you're in a program like this. So you are not, you know, I hope you're not guilty because you are in a, a, a program of study. You are supposed to be always at the ready to retool, to learn something new, acquire knowledge, gaining a new perspective, gaining new perspectives. This is a big one. When we engage in online discussions, too many of us walk away from the discussions with the same information we came to the discussion with. I want to repeat that. Too many of us walk away from the discussions with the same information that we came to the discussion with. And that is a big no-no. That is a big no-no. I am not saying you, you're supposed to walk away changing your idea, changing your opinion, changing what you believe, changing your value system, changing what you, you know, as a, if you're a Christian or a Muslim or an Hindu or if maybe you're an atheist. I'm not saying you're going to walk away changing all of that because we're not keeping church. We're keeping a class. But you need to gain other perspectives. You need to understand the, I, the, the argument from a different place. Right now, there's a major discussion going across Jamaica about abortion. Everybody has their own opinion on abortion, I guarantee. But when you engage in a discussion with intellectual people, academic, in, a, in academia, you have an entire week discussion on the, on the topic. You should walk away with new perspective, with some fresh ideas, some fresh thinking. I didn't say you walk away with a changed perspective necessarily, although that happens many times. It happens for me. We walk away with, with a changed perspective because we, some of us, we are misinformed. We are uninformed. We are not educated on the ideas. And so we, we, we go with stereotypes and we go with, oh, them people, these people, those people, because we we because we 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 are easy to catch on to stereotypes. What do what are some of the stereotypes you have heard about Rastafarian? What are stereotypes you have heard about gay people? What are stereotypes you hear about Christians? What are stereotypes you hear about persons who practice shout Baptist or or Pokomania or revival? revivalist what are stereotypes you hear about persons who are single parent what are the stereotypes you hear about mothers with four and five children we all fought some of these stereotypes we have to unwire we have to unwire some of these stereotypes why because these stereotypes they feed our they feed our um they feed our our um they feed our biases and these very stereotypes they feed our oppressive ideas and oppressive institutional. I just saw a comment, and I'm going to hope you allow me, um, Jessreen, to add your comment, because, of course, we are doing this also for a, a YouTube video. But I love this comment, Jessreen. There should be an interruption in our learning. Oh, Jessreen, you're touching some beautiful, beautiful piece right now. As, as a matter of fact, I had a lecture last week, and we talk about disrupting ped disruptive pedagogy disrupting our learning and what do we mean by that because many of us we learn things the same way all the time we learn about the same thing our learning is so oppressive sometimes we have to learn to interrupt disrupt unwire some of those things and of course we have to remain open we have to remain open so excellent job so we have to have a diversity awareness of others and that is it. We have to uh, we have to uh, aware of others and how uh, sorry, how uh, we value others. Sometimes when we see patterns of discrimination and inequities, 
and injustice. It comes from the lack of respect and value for others. Because we don't respect you, we don't value you, we don't care. So our discrimination, our biases, our inequalities, our system of injustice is just blatant because at the end of the day, I do not value who you are. And that is what that's, that is sometimes what is at the core of some of the issues we are dealing with. We do not value the difference among us. So I am a Christian, you are Rastafarian, I don't value you. So my, immediately my action towards you is, 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 is different. You know what I'm saying? So we have to think about the value we place on difference, the value we place on others. We have to have a strong, honest, serious awareness of others because I want to go back to this. Because I want to go back to this. Who you are impacts how you lead. So sometimes, you know, when we see these things happening in the news, especially in the news in America about a judge or a politician or a principal or a leader being prejudiced or racist or homophobic about things, we just think it's okay. It's not okay because that's how you lead. That's how you lead. And many people are disenfranchised, excluded, discriminated and pushed out, pushed to the edges, pushed to the edges because of persons in power and position in leadership who refuse to value these people and so because you refuse to value them they don't get the same teaching they don't get the same service they don't get the same care if you're if you're in the medical field if you're in the teaching field they don't get the same teaching from you and so our 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 discriminatory behavior our biases our 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 um oppressive actions they have implications they do have implications